At this year's conference, I was invited to present the results of ABCSG 16, um, which is a trial in the field of extended adjuvant endocrine treatment in postmenopausal women. And what we essentially did was comparing additional two years of an aromatase inhibitor, an astrosol, in the case of this trial, to additional five years of an astrosol. The background of this is that we know that after five years of tamoxifen, extension of treatment duration is beneficial. This has been demonstrated by a number of trials. It's a little bit less clear if patients had already received aromatase inhibitors in the first five years, but what was unknown until this presentation is what is the optimal duration of that extended adjuvant therapy. In ABCSG 16, we uh, recruited 3,484 postmenopausal patients with hormonal receptor positive breast cancer. And after their initial five years of treatment, they were randomized to receive either additional two years of anastrozole or additional five years of anastrozole. In terms of patient characteristics, uh, the two trial groups were completely comparable, as you would expect in such a large cohort and we have a median follow-up of almost nine years after randomization, which means that we on average follow these patients for almost 14 years uh, after the initial diagnosis and surgery. Disease-free survival was the primary endpoint, and essentially we did not find the difference between the two trial arms. So additional five years was not better in terms of disease-free survival compared to additional two years. There was neither a difference in secondary trial endpoints such as uh, over-survival, contralateral breast cancer, or new primary cancers. There was, however, a difference uh, in clinical fractures. So additional five years will result in uh, more fractures than additional two years, which is also a plausible result. So in summary, while this is scientifically a negative trial, I think it has actually some uh, good news for clinical practice in there. When you use extended adjuvant aromatase inhibitors, uh, additional two years is good enough. And I think this can help in clinical practice to reduce side effects, to eliminate fractures, and to improve uh, quality of life of patients. From the slides this morning in the press session, you did note the uh, treatment adherence between both groups as well as... You know, in clinical practice, treatment adherence is a relevant issue, and we took the opportunity of this large trial uh, to also look into this aspect. And what we see is, and that's very comparable to other reports, about 20% of patients drop off the treatment within the first two years, and about 40% within five years. Um, based on tolerability issues, side effects, but probably also based on the perception that, you know, I'm cured and uh, for a variety of reasons. Even when we looked at the comparison within the trial, this is an exploratory analysis of those patients who were perfectly adherent, presumably on a, on a very favorable tolerability profile, we didn't find a difference, which I think uh, generally supports uh, the overall conclusion of this trial. If two years is no worse than five, are there any plans to find out whether one year is no worse than two, or if anyone is even best suited for this? Um, you're right. Um, so I think two years should now be considered the standard of care. Whether we could further de-escalate to, let's say, one year, or whether even some patients uh, might not need extension of treatment beyond five years at all, I think needs to be determined in, in, in future trials.